trying to figure out how all these Final Fantasy 14 players are already obtaining a full set of tombstone gear. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about the few ways that you can farm for this once you finish the Endwalker story. We do have a more consistent method and then we have more of a grindy farming method. So let's go over them now. The first thing you're going to want to do is finish the Endwalker story. You can only obtain these at level 90. Then you're going to want to unlock the expert duty roulette. This does not unlock automatically. You have to finish two blue quests right in the main city, Old Charlayan. I'm not going to show you those specific blue quests because it could be considered MSQ spoilers. Once you finish those two specific quests and unlock the dungeons, then you will be able to do the expert duty roulette. You'll want to start doing this daily as it's just a really good source of tombstones. You can also do the other duty roulettes at level 90. If you notice, if you have a job under level 90, then you will only get experience and tombstones of poetics. Once you hit level 90, then you can queue for these other duty roulettes. Your rewards will change and you will get tombstones of aphorism. Aphorism? Aphorism. You guys can correct me down in the comment section. This is going to be a really consistent and easy way to start getting enough tombstones in order to get a full set of gear for your main job. It's also recommended to do this way if you're not really focused on leveling up other battle classes. One of the main ways we level up battle classes as of now is doing the duty roulette, but I will have another guide coming out how to level your battle jobs from 80 to 90. This is just a consistent method, so if you don't have much time, you can just do one or two duty roulettes and obtain tombstones this way. The other method is something that you can do and farm whenever the event comes up and that is hunt trains. If you're not familiar with hunt trains, you're basically just going from area to area and killing a rank or higher bosses. You can't do this on your own. You do have to do it with a party. Each server or data center usually has a discord associated with it. So I would recommend starting a discord for this. Once you get into the Discord, it's going to look something like this. You'll notice that people will be posting when hunt trains start. Before the Endwalker expansion, you would have just been able to transfer to that server in order to do that server's hunt train. But the problem now is that Final Fantasy XIV is so congested, it's hard enough just to even get in the game. So just find your particular server's Discord so you can do the hunt train whenever they pop. If you already have a Discord for your particular server, then leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will put them all together in a pinned comment so people can find them more easily. Once you jump on a hunt train, you'll have literally dozens and dozens of other players following and flying around. It's actually quite a cool sight to see. You're not going to want to do this until you lock ether currents in each section. That's because you're going to be flying around a lot. The other problem with this method as of right now is that because it's so congested, you go from instance to instance. So you start on instance one, and then once you kill those enemies, you would go to instance two. But because of the congestion, sometimes you can't get into instance two. So you just have to keep clicking until you're able to get in. Most of the time, the hunt train will wait for you or will wait until the majority of the people are there. So usually they don't pull right away. But this can be one of the drawbacks. The great thing though is that the rewards are awesome. You get 40 sack of nuts, 30 tombstones of poetics, and 20 tombstones of aphorism. You must be in a party in order to attain the highest of these rewards. Most of the time you can just ask for a party invite or looking for a group. The 40 sack of nuts is a really great reward because it gives you very specific mounts and other cool items that you can only get with that particular currency. You can also get tombstones of poetics so you can start purchasing alt job gear and the 20 tombstones of aphorism it goes by so quick it's just one of the best ways to farm for these tombstones hopefully we have demystified a little bit how all these more veteran and in the know players are getting these vendor gear so quickly if you have any questions then you can leave a comment down below and most people would be happy to help you. If you got any value out of this video, then don't forget to limit break three that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell for all my future Endwalker videos. I wanna give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. Your continued support allows me to keep putting content out on this channel.
If you consider supporting this channel's content, then you can find that in the link tree in the description box down below. You can also find my public Discord. So if you wanna be a part of a great community that love helping each other and really active during this Endwalker season, then feel free to stop by and join. If you wanna keep watching Endwalker tutorials or guides, then you can click here.